When I had originally outlined this course, I was pretty much focusing on desktop computers, laptop computers, those kind of things. And the original outline, I did not have anything in there about smartphones. Now, one of the really cool things about outlining a course is that the subconscious gets to work on it over a couple of days and you can add things and move things around. And being a high school teacher as well as a college teacher, it occurred to me that with all my students walking around with smartphones that I probably should put something on there about protecting the data on your smartphone. Because let's be honest, our smartphones maybe 10 years ago, five to 10 years ago, if you lost them, maybe the worst thing that happens is you were financially out of some money, maybe your contact information went away. Nowadays with our smartphones, you know, I got banking information on here, I got personal information on here, I got contact information on here. If somebody got a hold of my smartphone or your smartphone, think of all the damage that they can do. So all major platforms now, all major platforms for smartphones, for example, the um, Apple phones, the Droid phones, and the Microsoft phones, come with remote access capabilities. You can remotely flip a kill switch. You can turn on location tracking. You can do a lot of things. Now, a lot of these require you to have them turned on before you actually lose your smartphone. So let's first take a look at the Apple iPhone. Now with iCloud users, which would be you if you use an iPhone, can locate and remotely erase your iPhones. Now again, here's the catch. You have to have this turned on before you lose the phone. So if you're on an iPhone, you need to take it out now, okay? And you need to make sure you do the following things. You have to turn on your Find My iPhone feature. So look at your settings, iCloud, and then make sure you've turned on the Find My iPhone. Now, if your phone is lost, you can sign into the iCloud.com and use the Find My iPhone cloud application, meaning you can do it online. Once you're in there, you can remotely lock the phone so nobody can get into the phone. You can send a message to the phone, so you can maybe say, hey, this is my phone, you know, where is it? You can play a sound on the phone, and you can also flip a kill switch, which would wipe the data remotely. Now, what was kind of funny is, again, I'm a high school teacher as well as a college teacher now, and I found an iPhone that one of my students left in the gym, and so I was bringing it to the office, and I was trying to find the owner. As I'm walking, the phone starts to make a beeping sound, and the student went, oh, you have it, thank you, Mr. Ford. So she had the Find My iPhone feature turned on before she lost her phone. So for you iPhone users, make sure, do it now, okay? Make sure that Find My iPhone feature is turned on. Now, for us Droid users, for us Google Android users, we need to download a special app, at least at the recording of this video. You never know, maybe they'll include it in an update, but it's a free app and it's really, really, really cool. In fact, I installed it specifically in preparation for the development of this course. So you wanna to go to your Play Store and you wanna look for an app called Android Lost. This is going to allow you to lock your SIM card you can sound an alarm. So for example, I am logged into my Android Lost page. It's done via cloud-based. So you put the app on your phone and then you log into the web page and you can hear the alarm. Here we go. Okay. So if I lost my phone, let's say around the house, not that we ever lose our phones around the house, right? I can find my phone. And the cool thing is, even if it's on silent or vibrate, it will still make that alarm. I can also put on geo-tracking so I can see where it's at. I can read text messages. So let's say, for example, somebody stole my phone and they were sending text messages to other people. I could read the text messages. And of course, I could wipe my phone remotely. With this one, uh, they say that you can install it after the fact, but I would install it before the fact. Okay, I would put that on before you lost it. And finally, for those of you who are Microsoft Windows Phone users, this works on any Windows Phone 7 or 7.5 device. And you need to go to www.windowsphone.com on your computer. You sign in, you click My Phone, and you can pretty much do the same thing. GPS tracking, erase data, lock the phone, etc. So please, please, please make sure 
that no matter which of the devices you use, you turn that on right now because Murphy says, you know, Murphy's Law, Murphy says if you don't, you will lose your phone within 24 hours. All right. In the next section, we're going to take a look at malware.